Nafield is an amazing place. Um, we, we've got a wonderful location right in the center of Leeds. Patients uh, who are working in Leeds come over morning hours. They come to my clinic and then go off to work. Um, there's excellent uh, facilities in terms of space, whether it be clinic space, physiotherapy, rehabilitation facilities, wards, uh, and then the theater space is amazing. I deal with the whole spectrum of knee surgery, starting from young patients with cartilage problems and very focal arthritis where we do more cartilage repair and osteotomies, to young patients also coming with more established arthritis. And these patients are increasing in numbers. But there is also this concern that partial knee replacements have a slightly higher revision rate or a complication rate. And that could be some, sometimes due to design, but a lot of these have been already addressed but perfecting the positioning of the knee replacement potentially has a role in improving the outcomes in these patients. Knee replacement uh, has been performed for many years and there has been lots of changes to design of knee replacement and not all of it has been successful. Some of the new designs uh, brought out recently have still brought up some persistent issues and one of the main issues with knee replacement is that patients are not as happy as say one would be with a hip replacement. And people would say there is a 20% dissatisfaction rate with knee replacements. And that has not been addressed by just changing design. And I think trying to individualize the knee and trying to perfect the knee um, by more fine tuning uh, real time, intraoperatively, more of a, a robotic technology where we can appreciate the effect of small changes to size or thickness of an insert and the effect it will have on the patient's function, then that is giving far more feedback to the surgeon. And therefore, I'm expecting that this will improve that small proportion of patients uh, who still have that dissatisfaction with knee replacements to be much happier. If there is a real-time feedback from the computers within theaters, then one could fine-tune and make sure that it, it is appropriate for the patient. And that is where I think Robotics would really play a big role in being able to reduce the dissection around the tissues so we can actually minimize the surgical trauma and also improve positioning real time while doing the surgery. I would expect uh, most patients to be fully weight bearing and walking within um, one to two days with the aid of uh, sticks or crutches. They should be able to do stairs. I would expect that you'd be driving by six weeks and at that point, you can start increasing your level of activity and doing more long distance walking. But the most important benefit of robotic surgery will be trying to speed up that early rehabilitation phase. So I'm still expecting conventional techniques, patients to be able to play golf by six months, long distance walking uh, by three to six months. But I'm expecting uh, with more precise technique and less tissue trauma that these patients would be able to achieve that slightly earlier. Thank you.